Hey, I'm Ava. You probably remember me as that awkward teenager trying to survive high school, but now I'm all grown up and very mature. For example, I planned this whole date. And that hottie rowing my boat, that's my boyfriend, Cody. Do you mind rowing? I gotta fire off some tanks real quick. Cody just got a big promotion. He's in finance. Although I couldn't tell you what he does exactly. Something with numbers, I think. Babe, isn't this so romantic? Totes. It's like out of a movie, right? Like one of my favorite rom-coms or a murder mystery. <laughs> great place to kill me and dump the body, right? <laughs> She's crazy. I think you have a great body. I'm glad we got this moment alone. I've been uh, wanting to talk to you about something. I think I need some space. Space. Space? What? Why are you? What are you saying? I think maybe we need to break up. Let me try that again. Apparently, that's my ex-boyfriend. And this is how to survive a breakup. Ah! Ah! Ava, I meant break, not break up, I swear. Okay, maybe dumping him overboard was a little dramatic. You know the saying, you can't love somebody else until, in, until you love yourself? I think that's me. But I love you. I think you're amazing. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there for you the way I should be. Hey, hey, don't worry, it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. I don't know if I am. I gotta go on this journey of self-discovery solo, you know? I hear you, and I'm here for you. I will be here for you, whatever you need, even if it's space. Oh, I felt terrible. Like, he was a girl who just got dumped by the bachelor after hometowns, only I was the bachelor. <laughs> So, The Bachelorette. That is heartbreaking. You poor thing. You should get him a smudge stick. And some crystals, too. Do not get him crystals. Are you sure he was serious about the whole I need to work on myself thing? I just can't picture Cody saying that. I'm telling you, he's really going through something. But I feel terrible. I want to be there for him. What should I do? You want my real, honest advice? Yes, Zoe, desperately. You're better off without him. Cody wasn't that great of a boyfriend to you. I mean, didn't he forget your anniversary and go camping with his friends two years in a row? Yeah, he really does need a space, see? I should be more receptive to that. No, look, maybe this break or breakup, whatever it is, is actually for the best. Jade, what do you think? You just love him so much. <laughs> I do. And he loves you so much. <sighs> he does, you're right, this is so silly. <laughs> no, you guys. Tomorrow, I'll go talk to him. Remind him that I love him and that I'm there for him and that we'll be okay. He's my Peter Kaminsky. A who? To all the boys I've loved before. All these heteronormative love stories, I can't keep track. He's her Prince Charming, and Ava's gonna be his spiritual guide on a quest to find himself. Thanks for the advice, guys. I think I'm gonna go get that smudge stick. What even is a smudge stick? Oh, it's a bundle of sage that you can burn and clear out bad energy in a room or... You know what? I'm good. I'm good. Cody, you there? <sighs> okay, Cody told me this key was for emergencies only, and I would say that this qualifies as one. Geez, he must really be taking this break hard. This place is at least 10% messier than it was last week. Who needs Property Brothers when you've got Ava? All of Cody's last three lock screens, printed and framed. Ah, nothing says I love you more than harvesting your energy into pretty rocks. And we have to trigger those memory sensors. I know he always loved my perfume. 
And you know, in case all that self-help stuff wasn't enough, just one selfie to help remind him what he's missing. You look freezing, huh? Let's get you a hoodie. All right. Try this one, but it is my fave, so I'm gonna have to give it back. Okay, but you might have to take it off of me. <laughs> Ooh. Why is your sister wearing your boxers? You lied to me. What? You told me you needed space because you were going through a hard time and I believed you. I wanted to support you and now you're here cheating on me with this, this, this. I'm Emma. This Emma. Hi, Emma, nice to meet you. I'm Ava, Cody's girlfriend. Emma and I are just friends. You must think I'm dumb. I'm not. I loved you. At least I thought I did. Maybe I was just so blinded by your hair and your, your eyes and your face and your, your everything. But not anymore. I'm done. You okay? I'm fine, thank you. Ava, please, can I talk? No! You've done enough talking. We're done. That's right. I'm breaking up with you, and I'm going to take what very little shred of dignity I have left and leave. It's, it's, you, you gotta, okay. And when you take your dignity, you also take your stuff. So the first rule to surviving a breakup, believe that it's real. I'm such an idiot. And remember, real life is absolutely nothing like the movies. Nice boxers. Real life is harder and it's messier and it's scary and people do crazy things like this. Yo, what is up guys? It's me again, Ava. Despite recent events involving my lying ex-boyfriend, I'm doing great. Totally fine. I'm feeling fresh as a daisy. I'm awesome, guys, I promise. Power pose. I am smart. I am strong. I control my emotions. I control my destiny. Today is going to be a great day. Woo! Becky, play music. Are my friends worried about me? Yeah, they're my ride or dies. But as I've told them many times, I'm over Cody. I honestly couldn't be any better. So, I'm moving on. Not today, Satan. Becky, play next song. Next song, Becky. You heard me, I'm a strong, capable, single woman. Yup, I'm very single and I'm very fine with it. And this is how to survive a breakup. Congratulations. You know, that wasn't so bad. I can totally do this. I'm fine. Cody? Oh my God, wait, Cody's here at my coffee shop. Seriously? Cody? 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 Cody?
There she is. So he's about to send a search party. I just wanted my coffee, OK? And you forgot the coffee. Ava's going through a really tough time right now. What? No, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Let's go. I hate exercise. You didn't have to come. Sure I did. I'm here because Ava's totally fine. You sure you're OK, Ava? Uh-huh. Hey, is that Cody? Cody doesn't hike. He did with me. And that's his sweatshirt and his haircut. I don't know. Maybe. I should go say something to him. Let him know that it's all chill. Is it? Is it chill? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I, I thought you were someone else. Oh my god. Um. <sighs> yeah, all very chill. Okay, can we talk about how it's so messed up that women's razors cost more than men's literally just because they're pink? I'm sorry, I need some space. I think maybe we need to break up. You said break, not break up! I said I'm sorry, I need some space. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I've got razors. Razors for men. They're cheaper, they'll save you money. Am I going crazy? No, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Oh! <laughs> I'm not fine. <laughs> I really tried, guys. Of course you did. I thought I could be happy right away. I mean, if anyone could, it's definitely you. I guess I just have to live in the sad, you know? Yeah, it makes sense. You gotta cry it out. <laughs> You're right. Where are you guys? Right here. It's gonna be okay. Nice. All right. Read the list. All right. 500 Days of Summer, Romeo and Juliet, Twilight, <laughs> Dunkirk. Why is Dunkirk on a list of movies to cry to? Harry Styles almost dies. It makes me cry. Me too. Straight Should we, like, do something? I think I gotta get out of the house. Oh, thank God. Yeah, maybe getting dressed up will make you feel better. Yeah. Let's go out. I'm done crying. I'm not gonna break down. I'm not gonna hold down. That's right, cause I'm better with Woo! you. I'm not gonna hold down. I'm not gonna She's definitely done crying. Well, at least she looks good. The better without you, I'm moving on. Yes! Nailed it. Who knew you were such a natural performer? Definitely felt the emotions. I felt so good up there. I should be on stage more often. A boxer's girl. Uh, looking good up there, quite the performance. It's Ava. 
and this is my friend Zoe, and this is Jade. I'm Ben. For someone who just got broken up with, I'm impressed you're out. I, uh, I ran into Cody, and he mentioned that he ended things. <laughs> he said that he dumped me. Let the record show, in the end, everyone, I took the final dump, okay? Did the fun? Never mind. <laughs> um, so, so how are you? Really? The second rule to surviving a breakup is that you have to let out all of your sadness, like really let it out, before you can move on. You know what? I'm doing okay. Up next, we got Ava again. Here we go. That's my best friend. This place is happy hour is ridiculous. It's... Oh. <laughs> and we're back to square one. What's up guys, it's me again, Ava. Ever since I saw Cody and Emma at the bar, I've been keeping myself up all night wondering if she's his new girlfriend. I mean, who even is this girl? Is she so beautiful? <laughs> what do you think, Ava? Looks great, though. Didn't know you could see me through all that stalking. Yeah. Who's Psychic Girl 98? It's Emma. The Emma. And Emma likes astrology, sunsets, and her milk of choice is rice. Her sister lives in Ohio and her parents live in Florida and she's got a dry bar appointment next Tuesday with Veronica. I don't know if I should be impressed or scared. I'm both. Give me that. If you like any posts, I will friend divorce you. Excuse me, I'm no amateur. Uh, you guys. Oh my God, is that Cody? Guess that explains how he got into all that self-help crap. I just, I don't get it. I don't get how he could get over me so quickly. They're definitely more than friends, so what else did he lie about? Was he cheating on me? For how long? How long have they been together? Am I spiraling? Maybe. But it's totally normal. Trust me, it's part of the process. <laughs> and this is How to Survive a Breakup. All those crime podcasts weren't for nothing. I'm gonna get the answers I need. Ava? Shh. Wait, are you robbing a bank? No, nothing illegal. I don't think. Um, actually, maybe you could help. Let me guess, you want me to help you put a wire in the back of Cody's apartment. God, that's so much better than my idea. No, I was joking. Look, I'm just trying to get some tea on the new girl Cody scene. Are you sure you want to do that? Look, I'm a woman on the verge, Ben. Uh, I can see that. Like, when me and my ex were having issues. Shh. Oh my god. Just give this to Cody. Oh, hey man, yeah. what's going on? What's up? Um, someone was passing these out earlier. Ooh, free readings? I'm there. Oh my god, I just knew she'd be in there. Such a clinger. Oh, okay, whatever, she took the bait. Thanks for doing this, Jade. Are you kidding? It's a dream come true. Someone came prepared. Okay, now remember, when I say hi to my mom, that means you ask the most important question. How long have they been together? But if I say by dad, then you just repeat after me. If I say hi to my dog sitter, that Did means- Did you get a dog? No, it's for the code. Right, right. Pay attention. If I cough, then you just move on to the next thing. Ava, I'll get you your answers. Calm down, I got this. Okay, fine. Hello, welcome, come on in. When will I marry Shawn Mendes? I'm getting a springtime vibe after a fresh rain. But um, that's all the time we have for today, so that'll be 20 bucks. I thought it was free. In this economy? Jesus, thank you. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Emma. You're the healer, right? I hope I'm not too late to get a reading. Oh, you're right on time. Come right in. I'm Jade. I love that name, and it's very well suited for your profession. Thank you. I thought so myself, too. <laughs> <coughs> okay, Emma, I want you to take this. 
Hold it very tightly in your hands. Close your eyes and visualize someone in your life. So, you and Cody have been together for how long exactly? Well, how, how did you know his name was Cody? It's uh, my job to know. <laughs> so you and Cody have been together for a period of time. Perhaps short. Perhaps long. You know, time is relative when you really think about it. It's... <coughs> Does that woman need water? She's fine. <laughs> okay, so uh, you and Cody, um, getting something. He, he cares for you a lot. He does? Or he doesn't. He doesn't. Bye, Mom. Love you, too. But you love him. Ow! Jesus! Okay. Everything is fine. Is everything okay with you and Cody? Does he know that you love him? I guess I do love him. <sighs> Ma'am, you dropped this. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. You're totally right. He means so much more to me than I thought, and I should make sure that he knows it. Oh my god, he's calling me right now. Oh, you are so good. Thanks. Thank you. Cody, I was just thinking about you. Okay, what was that? Seriously, what was that? I, I... You're supposed to ask how long they've been together, not tell her she was in love. I'm sorry, I thought I was supposed to say whatever you said to your mom. Uh, no, it was what I said to my dad. Whatever, it's too late. They weren't a couple already, they certainly are now. Wait, your friend is actually a spiritual healer? It's, um... It's more of a passion project. Okay, I see what's happening here. You had Jay try and pry info from Emma, but it totally backfired. You should have been the psychic. <laughs> I passed Emma on the phone with Cody on the way out. Apparently, she loves him. Wow, thank you, Jade, for helping her figure that one out. You're welcome. Wait, did you actually come here for a reading? I didn't think you were into that. Actually... Oh, my God. What? I don't want to show you. Show me, what is it? It's fine. Okay, Charlie, let's get lost. Okay, what does this even mean? And like, who's Charlie? And let's get lost? What, is he dating her? Who's Charlie? Maybe I should have just helped you wiretap Cody's apartment. No, it's fine, this has gone way too far. All I'm doing is driving myself crazy. Here. Here's the next rule to surviving a breakup. You have to take care of yourself. And when you lose control, you take it back. I don't need to know anything else about Cody's life. There. Blocked. That's the spirit. Well done, but I will catch you guys later. Hmm. All this time, I just sort of assumed he was single. Yeah, me too. Not that I care. No, of course not. And of course, the first eligible guy I meet, and he's already taken. Hey, rom-coms? Romantic comedies are lies. That's why I prefer dark, psychosexual thrillers. 